Hey, you stuck around for part deuce. Um, super excited. This is obviously the second part of the December plan with me, the non-traditional multi-denominational Christmas plan with me. So I thought, you know, I think the, the first one, what I didn't mention is that I wanted to keep the colors really neutral as well. I wanted the colors to be simple, um, something kind of use the stuff that pretty much everyone's got lying around at home, extra paper. You could probably use Christmas paper if you do want to make it Christmassy. And there's a variety of different ways that you can just kind of shake it up a little bit to make it your own. So if you want to instead use Christmassy washi tape or Christmassy stickers, then go right for it. I decided that I just wanted to be kind of plain and neutral for Christmas and totally okay. Remember, that's the point of your journal is that it's totally your own and you can make it however which way you want at any point in time. I'm just here for a little bit of a creative spark and a little bit of inspiration if you decide that you want to try something totally different. Um, so really excited. Again, if you haven't been here before, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe? I can't even say subscribe. This is terrible. More coffee, clearly. Hit the subscribe button down below and check out some of our other videos as well. I uh, look forward to seeing you around a little bit more and let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give the page a little bit of texture. Here I wanted kind of a pastel-y theme. I had chosen the colors based on the stickers I'm going to be using. So I wanted some really pastel-y pinks and greens and purples. I also decided to add a little bit of gold to the top. And you can see here that I've got quite a big palette. It's a combination of pretty much all of the different Primer Marketing Confection sets absolutely love them pastel vintage pastel and pastel are my favorites and then obviously the gold um, beautiful gold up at the top there so let's finish that off right let's punch out some days of the weeks so I'm using the classic size happy planner punch for the boxes and just counting out seven days to be able to put in Monday through to Saturday and Sunday I got this amazing tissue paper from TV store in Wellington which is local to me it's got this beautiful glitter effect right through the tissue paper it's so beautiful so I thought you know what it's pretty translucent so let me use it to stick the days of the week to and then I can stick it into the notebook it's obviously very um, kind of fragile uh, very very easy to tear so just be careful if you are using tissue paper you could probably use some really festive tissue paper as a replacement to this so I'm really looking forward to seeing how you use this in your notebook Okay, let's see how these fit into my planner. The idea is here that I'd like to layer it with some stickers and some stamps as well. I want to give it some texture and I kind of want it to pop up off the page. So now that I've kind of got an idea around where I want them to sit on the page, that looks a little silly, um, kind of off center a little bit. I'm now going to put days of the week on the top of my little um, pieces of notes paper. And I'm going to start Monday and obviously go all the way through to Saturday and Sunday. Okay, time to add the texture with some of those stamps. I'm going to stamp around the page. I'm going to use a variety of different stamps and I'm going to add in a whole bunch of um, embellishments as well. You can see that I've got a whole heap of them and I'm just using the back of this piece of paper here to dab off the excess ink.
All right, now that we've got our basic background, I want to put in the stickers and I also want to put in some kind of stick in little die cuts that I really like. I just want to make sure that they're sitting in the perfect spot so that I don't lose my really cute background, but I can also create a little bit more height and texture. I may not use all of them. I'll see how I go as I start sticking things down. These here are the stamps that kind of prompted the color scheme that I chose. They're somewhat translucent and they're from the Happy Planner range. Um, I really love the pastel pinks and the blues and the greens and they just kind of added to the colors that I was using anyway, so really inspired by those. As I start sticking them in, I'm adding a little bit of extra texture with the leaves on top of the stamped leaves and the stickers on top of some other stickers and just creating a overall feel of layers within my notebook. Let's finish off by adding a quote and then we are good to go on to the next spread. This is also a super fun spread. We're starting off with some paint splatters. It's personally one of my favorite things to do at the moment in my notebook is paint splatters. And then I'm gonna use that leftover paper from part one um, to kind of create a frill. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just trim them quite thin and I'm going to cut them with my frilling scissors. I don't actually know what these scissors are called. I'm assuming they're called frilling scissors because they make frills. Who knows? But I'm going to cut them real easy. They're super easy to do. The scissors do pretty much all the work for you. You could do it simply with a normal piece of scissors or even an exacto knife. This just takes, you know, the hard work out of it. Once all my frills are cut, I'm going to see how they sit layered on top of each other and I'm going to trim them to size to fit into my notebook. Once I've stuck them all in, I'm going to kind of seal them off with a little bit of washi tape at the top. Now, the reason the left hand side is a little shorter than the right hand side is because I wanted to add a note section at the top of the page. I'm now again going to punch out some bullet journal paper into some kind of days of the week and they're all going to be consistent in size, which I really like. I'm going to add the days of the week to the top of the little note papers and then start sticking them in where I think they would look the best. Adding a couple of embellishments and a couple of pieces of washi tape to finish it off and we are done. Super easy! As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.